thing. Yes. Congratulations on the show. To be Thanks. Have you been surprised at how overwhelmingly popular the show is with fans, especially with your character? Yes. Definitely. Um, I think, I mean, when we when I booked the show, it was a pilot, and you never know what's going to happen with pilots. And, uh, and yeah, and then when it aired, I, I think we realized that it was actually meaning a lot to a lot of different people, um, and it was telling uh, a lot of people's stories that, it, that, that don't have their stories told on television. And, uh, yeah, it's been really moving and really uh, surprising and exciting. Yeah, it's yeah, such an important show, and I, I'm so impressed with ABC Family for having it on. And yeah, me too. Sticking <laughs> with it, and the cast is so amazing, and so it really reaches that group that it's really important to reach, I think. So. I agree with you, yeah. yeah. It, it's high time. Yes, yes. absolutely. Um, were you concerned when you booked it that, oh, this, because I, I remember seeing billboards like at the Grove and stuff when the show, right before it even came out with season one, and I remember a friend saying, it looks good, it'll never last, it'll be off for Christmas, and I said, I don't think so, and then it came yeah. you did you did really well. Yeah, I think, I mean, speaking about the billboard, um, I think it kind of reflects what's good about the show in that it's a family like any other and the first billboard that did come out was a family picture at the beach with two moms and yep. there was no kind of, uh, you know, focus on the fact that it is two moms, it's a family like any other and I think that's why it has stayed on the air is because it's not, you know, like so many shows that have kind of LGBT characters, or it's either comedy or they're being satirized and I think you really see a family um, just living their day-to-day -day lives and that's, I think, why it's still on the air and why it right. means so much to people because they're seeing their stories really cool. Is there anything that you can tell us that fans will be excited to see, maybe about Alex Lovelace? <laughs> uh, if I answer that question honestly, it's going to give away too much. Um, but I think you really see Callie uh, focusing on herself a lot more, which I think is uh, definitely most important. Uh, but she does keep those relationships with the men in her life, uh, foster sibling included. Um, so that is still ever present. Um, but I think she really is kind of trying to focus more on herself and uh, her own progress. And, uh, and she's got a lot on her plate. I mean, she, this uh, adoption is uh, taking a lot out of her. And so uh, she's really kind of having to focus on that. And then the new biological father coming into the situation. Robert Quinn, yeah. Sister. The crazy half sister. Yes. Yeah. I mean, are we going to see anything more of that? Because that, it's, it's eerie how much you guys look alike, number one. I think, I think, anyway. I think that's why this storyline is happening because me and Bailey kept getting recognized for each other. Oh, really? Yeah, and so we like finally met and like talked about it. I think we tweeted about it and the creators, Bradley and Peter uh, and Joanna, we were all like kind of like, this has to happen because I get told that I look like a lot of different people and I never see it, but with Bailey I do actually see it, especially on screen when we're in seats together. Um, so it was good casting, but I also think it was, uh, it was uh, hustling to get her on the show too. Well, watching you guys on screen is just, I love it because she's a little, she's a little scary. It's an awesome character and you definitely get a look into her mind and, and why she is acting this way. Um, so yeah. Right. Yeah. Um,